insecure direct object references can come in many different forms, including access to information that shouldn't be displayed, local file inclusion, remote file inclusion, and other forms of access control failures. We'll demonstrate just showing a simple example of getting access to information that shouldn't be displayed. In all cases, insecure direct object references are going to be an access control or an authorization failure. If the user is logged in, the system is supposed to check whether or not you have access to the resource before giving access. If the user cannot be logged in for a certain business process, the system is supposed to map a token to the resource, like a globally unique identifier or a universally unique identifier, preventing the user from being able to access other tokens besides the one they're supposed to be able to get to. In this example, we're just going to look at the edit user profile, and then we'll also take a look at being able to include a page you shouldn't. Again, these are just two examples. There are many different kinds of insecure direct object references, but this will give us the idea. We have to log in to get to the edit user functionality. We click on the edit user icon and we're brought to our own profile, which makes sense. But notice that the user ID directly references the user object. Here, we're user ID number four, so this page is displaying number four. If we type in five, the system should verify that the logged in user, us, has access to record number five. In this particular case, it doesn't. So we hit number five and it brings up someone else's profile, Bryce in this case. Let's look at another quick example. The page parameter displays the page in a frame, but does not perform access control, at least in the security level. If we change the page, to a page we should not be able to access, like Etsy password, which is not even in the application directory. The application shouldn't even have access to this page, but even if it did, it should have access control that would prevent us as a user from being able to pull that page into the frame. But of course, this being a vulnerable application on purpose doesn't do that, and so we're able to pull content from the server hard disk when we shouldn't be able to get at pages outside of the application directory. So while there are many different kinds of insecure direct object references, including the ones we showed, local file inclusion, or remote file inclusion, open redirects, this gives you a general idea of how access control failures can lead to the user getting at resources, data, functionality that they should not have access to because the server is not authorizing each request.